Our goal is 1 million subscribers. And if every person who hears me now subscribes to the channel we will get there in a second. Write in the comments I subscribe, I will mark a heart for everyone who does it. Let's begin with the video. With a lot of excitement and attention from the mainstream media, Cardano is shaping up to be one of the most valuable cryptocurrencies out there. It's a cryptocurrency designed for the people, by the people. So it's no wonder that Cardano is rocketing up the cryptocurrency rankings, with experts predicting that it could soon eclipse Ethereum. Cardano would undoubtedly draw the attention of larger businesses in the industry, who are anxiously anticipating the next breakthrough and keeping the public informed about their results, thanks to its unique renown and specific emphasis in the crypto finance sector. One of these firms is the well-known and dependable Nasdaq, which has been disseminating fresh information about Cardano and its prospects since its birth and media are climbed to prominence. So, in order to have a better understanding of Cardano and the buzz around it, we're looking at what Nasdaq said regarding Cardano, or what we're calling Nasdaq's Cardano findings. Before we get started on this fascinating topic, which I'm sure will blow your guys' brains once you hear professional perspectives on Cardano, the world's reserve coin. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and switch on alerts because we'll be dropping new videos all the time to keep you up to date on the latest cryptocurrency ups and downs. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you appreciated it or learned something useful from it today. Also, be sure to share it with all of your cryptocurrency followers and aficionados. Nasdaq has always had something to say about cryptocurrencies in the media regarding its predictions for the currency. The firm is widely respected and revered in the purchasing and selling markets for holding a second place rating on the list of stock exchanges by market cap of shared trades. And it makes sense to attack each currency on the market in this way. The first electronic worldwide marketplace for buying and selling stocks is much more important to the media. The Nasdaq is home to several technological behemoths including Facebook and Apple. This is one of the reasons for the market's high regard for the company's approach to cryptocurrencies. In a recent post, Nasdaq highlighted Cardano's fast rise, stating that it has increased by 20.6% to $1.87. Though, because prices are volatile and chain for a while, they appear to have increased much more. Nasdaq, on the other hand, was aware of the coin's rising worth. They've hinted at Cardano's significant advances. It's because Charles Hoskinson, the founder of Cardano and co-founder of its non-profit rival Ethereum, wants to offer miners an edge by lowering the amount of energy required to confirm transactions when mining Cardano. This may be a tremendous step forward for Cardano, which is presently the third largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. But Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin isn't going down without a fight, as he's working on a new update that would cut the amount of power needed to mine by 99%. So, how does this affect Cardano? NASDAQ despite acknowledging that new Ethereum plans could jeopardize Cardano's new phase, believes that the coin's transition to small contracts will vastly expand the coin's growth into one of the big three cryptos, as they all wrote in an article with reasons why Nasdaq has recently been very focused on the improvement of Cardano in the markets. Reacting to Amy Arnott, Morningstar Portfolio Manager, who raised the flags high on Cardano, stating that this cryptocurrency will soon ascend to be one of the top three cryptocurrencies, alongside Bitcoin and Ethereum. In this statement, recorded by Nasdaq, she recognized the parallels between Cardano and Ethereum, saying, Cardano is comparable to Ethereum in that it's a system with a lot of potential technical applications. In response to Amy's comments about Cardano, Nasdaq emphasized how the new Alonzo testnet project Charles Hoskinson has for Cardano will have a significant impact on its market position, propelling it higher on the charts as its scope and placement expand, allowing more institutions and personnel to use Cardano more effectively to their satisfaction. Nasdaq, on the other hand, had something to say about the community's skepticism of Charles' ambitions for Cardano, it's Coindesk.com, a polymarket prediction market. Please let the public aware that this project will not be ready until October. Still, Charles Hoskinson has provided some useful information, stating that the first phase of his projects has been completed successfully and that he and his team are currently working on updating Cardano to provide browser compatibility for Cardano smart contracts on the blockchain platform. Nonetheless, this upgrade is scheduled for September. This is according to CryptoBriefing.com. So, even with the whole back, Cardano's future seems bright. There are plans in the works to make Cardano more accessible to the general public by letting it to be run on mobile. This is fantastic news for Cardano since it will enable smart contracts on mobile devices without requiring the entire blockchain to be downloaded. Cardano is showing no signs of slowing down or backing down as opportunities continue to present themselves for this cryptocurrency to achieve its goals of being included among the top three coins, Brawling with BNB for 4th and 5th place, with a market cap of $68.14 billion dollars but subject to change with time. Coinbase, the world's biggest crypto finance exchange platform, authorized the training of Cardano's ADA tokens on March 19, 
2021, and Webull, a platform akin to Robinhood, commission-free brokerage companies began trading with Cardano. Because they use the same clearing agent, NASDAQ expects Robinhood, or Hood as they call it, to start improving Cardano shortly. All of these crowds and events have only served to help Cardano raise the roofs, as predicted by experts, and he shows no indications of slowing down anytime soon for any reason. NASDAQ believes that if larger currencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum begin to recover, Cardano will have a huge potential to fly over the ceiling. This is if Charles is successful in implementing his smart contract ideas with Cardano. They are aggressively urging miners and cryptocurrency newcomers to look at Cardano, as it may be the best place to put their money. In a more recent post, Nasdaq discusses why now is the perfect time to start investing in Cardano, claiming that it has only become stronger and better since its creation, with no intentions to slow down. It has been fighting for the top place and has returned a total of 7,080% to investors, exceeding Bitcoin's 910% returns in its early stages. Cardano is now one of the top 10 cryptocurrencies in the world, according to them. Cardano, like any other coin, has had its fair share of controversy, as despite the fact that it's a game-changer in the crypto markets, many people still have reservations about it. However, some argue that all popularity is beneficial. Regardless of the direction. Cardano's advantage in the crypto market, according to Nasdaq, is that it keeps most of its power, allowing for a more regulated system. Most currencies on the market have the drawback that a high-ranking investor who has purchased more than 50% of the cryptocurrency in their name has the most influence over the currency's development and has the ability to inflict significant damage to it. Cardano, on the other hand, does not have this issue because its supply chain is managed by over 26,056 mining pools. Could this be one among the factors contributing to Cardano's success? Here's a fun fact for you all. Cardano Ada, in case you didn't know, is named after a woman who is widely recognized as the world's first computer programmer. Augusta Ada King, according to a report published by NASDAQ. That is all that I have for this video. I hope that you've learned something and gained additional insight about this project. If you are looking to invest please be smart and make sure to research beforehand. Other than that I wish you the best of luck.